What's going on, community? Welcome back for another week of Community Choice. As always, I'm your host, Red Falcon Games. Last week, I asked you guys which your favorite Super Smash Bros. for 3DS stages were. And I got the top five results right here. So let's go ahead and get into these results. In fifth place is Gerudo Valley with 11% of the votes. This is the only Legend of Zelda themed stage to make it on this list. And honestly, this one reminds me a bit of a Bridge of Elden from Super Smash Bros. Brawl. There's a little layout in the middle of the stage that drops down and folds up just you so you can walk over it or fall into it. And then there are two platforms on the side which you can knock your enemies off the sides if you'd like to or above or below. So Gerudo Valley overall is some great music and like, some great scenery. In fourth place is Paper Mario with 12% of the votes. This stage is has three different formations and the first one is from the original Sticker Star. The second one is a throwback to the Thousand Year Door, which I really liked. Um, and and it played the ro you can play the Rogueport theme like during that uh, time, which is really cool. And the third was, I believe, from Sticker Star. It's the Bowser's Castle from Sticker Star. Kind of looks like the one from N64, but I don't believe it is. So that is the Paper Mario stage. In third place is Final Destination with 18% of the votes. The winner of the overall best Smash stage of all time is now third place on the list. And honestly, it looks just as good as ever. I mean, it's Final Destination. But uh, I'm pretty happy to see it in third place here and not first. So it came as a bit of a surprise to me. Final Destination is, as everyone knows, just a flat platform. Uh, where you can duke it out just to your best ability with no distractions, nothing like that. Obviously some intense music, and uh, it is how it is. If you like Final Destination, then there you go. In second place is Rainbow Road with 19% of the votes. And now this is a stage I really do actually like. Um, typically I'm not a fan of moving stages, I'm more of a traditional player. But Rainbow Road is definitely something I can get down with. It's, it's a typical straight platform, a little bit smaller than Final Destination. And the background is constantly moving to theme Mario Kart 7's Rainbow Road, which is really awesome. The visuals are great. The music is obviously really good because it's Rainbow Road. Sometimes they drop you off on the track, which is very cool. And uh, it doesn't mess up your play too much. So that's why I like Rainbow Road. In first place is Magicant, which is Ness's home stage. And it references to Mother and Earthbound. I was, I was pretty surprised to see this one up there. And I think... Uh, it's just very captivating. Obviously the music, um, the orchestrated um, Earthbound music, like the eight melodies, it, it's great. It's it's really, it's all there and it's got a great theme to it. Uh, the colors are very, uh, very nice. They're illuminating pink. And they also have references to like uh, Mother in there, like the, uh, they got the flying men. Yeah, yeah, that's that pink bird that like comes in and fights around. <laughs> it's just kind of funny. They got a lot of scenery references. They also have like the screen in the back that can reference to Earthbound too. So um, a lot, of, a lot going on here in Magicant, and uh, I'm pretty happy to see you in first place. Like, that's an awesome winner for your favorite Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS stage. Now, hopefully you guys you enjoyed that countdown. I know I had to ban the Omega mode for Final Destination. I just want to cover that for anyone that didn't see it in the last episode. It's just because I know we love playing Final Destination mode for um, for this new Smash 4, but I just had to ban it because I feel like a lot of the stages would be Final Destination mode, and it, w it would kind of skew the results. So, um, some honorable mentions I will mention are Battlefield, which was close, Pac Maze, and Gower Plains, which was the Xenoblade stage, which has awesome music as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get on to next week's question. This question is going to be from Twitter. It's from Ben. He asks, favorite Mario RPG? There are a total of nine. Yes, this is true. I actually put a link in the description to tell you which ones you can vote for. And yes, Super Paper Mario is one you can vote for. It's still considered an RPG. So all the Mario RPGs you can vote for in the comments below. The top five out of nine will be on the ranks next week on Community Choice. So I hope to see you guys then. Have an awesome week, Buzz. Don't forget to check out my personal Let's Play channel with the link in the description. Don't forget to comment below your favorite Mario RPG. That's pretty much it. I'm Red Falcon Games. Have an awesome weekend, Buzz. I'll see you later.